The world around us is changing at a fast pace. Thanks to the latest technologies and innovations, which have played a key role to bring a paradigm shift in every sector, including healthcare. We are connecting you with a technology leader who is empowering digital leaders in the healthcare domain. Alok Baidya, Regional Manager, Systems Engineering North, VMware India, has joined us virtually to deliver his presentation on IT innovations in healthcare. Hello everyone. Greetings of the day from VMware. In today's presentation, I will try to take you through what as VMware we are doing to ensure and our clients, our broad clientele base in this healthcare space are able to deliver what is expected out of them. Let me start off with a message from our CEO, Pat. Everyone is aware of what is happening around the world today. COVID-19 has uh, really affected nearly every business in every country. Uh, and so business as usual is not an option. We are all living through a stressful and traumatic period. And together we are working through similar challenges on how to best care for our families, friends, neighbors, and communities. And as business professionals, we are working towards helping our customers navigate this new world as well. Now, in this current situation, if you really look at it, healthcare is obviously the topmost agenda. Now, whether it is in terms of the directives which are getting floated by the health ministry or in terms of adoption of methodologies to monitor, track, report or extend care, technology is really playing a very, very critical role here. Caregivers and IT teams are increasingly more responsible for delivering successful outcomes from the OR to the ER and from rural clinics to virtual encounters. Healthcare has become personal and the opportunity now is to connect care in places and ways never before thought of possible, all while keeping costs down and protect the health information or the PHI safe. VMware as an organization, we work with leading healthcare organizations to reduce the IT complexity while ensuring the delivery of real-time connected healthcare that transforms the cost, quality, and delivery of patient care. Now, we are also aware that as a result of this current situation, there are so many challenges. So there have been some major shifts in the way we do healthcare today and how healthcare will continue moving forward. Number one, we see a fundamental shift to quickly enable all those remote clinicians so that they can continue to provide care. We need to provide seamless access to the systems, tools, and applications they need to service patients. Secondly, our healthcare customers are going through the same challenges that we face. They too are worried about their families, patients, and their own futures. The type of healthcare experience needed right now are not necessarily the same things they needed a couple of months ago. However, healthcare customer still wants to engage. But now, almost all the healthcare customers what we are interacting would be obviously digital. The first two shifts, which I just now spoke about, is also affecting the security policies. We now need to secure healthcare data with a highly distributed remote workforce and secure patient data with a new digital first approach. As we settle in this new way of interacting with patients, we need to be cognizant of few more key areas. How do we really meet patients where they are and provide them excellent digital care as they interact with our healthcare practice? Do we really have the right strategy to service our existing patients' expectations and still have new patients who need help? Now, that almost 
all patient interactions are digital, do we have the right security policies, as I was just now saying, in place to ensure that their data is protected so we maintain their trust? That's, that's very, very important. Are we empathetic to our patient's current needs so we can provide the best care their way? And finally, how do we quickly provide new services and applications to the patients as the world changes daily? So as hospitals work quickly to pivot their emergency preparedness plans and staff to ensure continuity in the current phase of anticipated and in some cases already ailing patient population, they are looking to the IT for much needed leadership. In these extraordinary days, IT will be critical to not only support efficient interactions between the clinicians and patients, but also to ensure that fundamental foundational infrastructure capabilities such as security and scalability remain always on and available for the duration of the crisis. Now, let me take a small example here. Today, as we know, we all are possibly hooked onto our mobile phones ever uh, you know, for everything. Now, today, as patients also, as a patient, I would expect practically everything to be available at those key strokes of my phone, whether it is a teleconsultation, whether it is getting a prescription provided to me by a physician, or for that matter, within the same app, why can't I go ahead and see my reports as well as possibly order for even medicines, and then it gets delivered uh, through the service providers at my home. That's the new age me, right? That's the new age patients who we are tending to become uh, possibly uh, customers of uh, demanding healthcare. That's the kind of situation we are in. Healthcare, obviously, hence would be impacted and the way providers care for their patients will be unique. In addition, the patient experience, like the way I was talking of right now, will have to be more personalized based on what the specific patient needs are. Now, in most places, what we have seen is the acceleration of telehealth is definitely happening. So whether it's telehealth and telemedicine, many patients obviously will not want to go back to waiting in the waiting room to be seen by a doctor for a non-life-threatening issue. So the entire healthcare system will be affected whether it's a patient, a clinician, or a provider, hospital, or EMR systems. Acceleration of a digital first strategy is hence essential in providing care for patients. So if I have to really summarize, healthcare IT in the current situation is getting prepared for whatever may come by establishing possibly five capabilities in particular. And let me take you through those five priorities, which as VMware, we think and what we have been interacting with a lot of our customers, what we have been talking, what we have been listening from our customers. The first and foremost, be prepared to add capacity by bursting to the cloud. Now, why is that so? The pandemic is spreading exponentially and we all know that. To address the necessity of being able to burst to support these expected workloads, healthcare IT teams should turn to possibly a hybrid cloud model. This approach, which involves a mixture of on-premises and the public cloud environment, facilitate the seamless transfer of data, application, information securely across environments, even as it supports massive burst in both compute and storage capacity. So by doing this, IT can add as many possibly virtual machines or VMs as needed, ensure continuous uptime and safeguard sensitive protected health information or PHI from being put at risk. The second aspect, that treat more patients through telehealth 
or telemedicine. Now, physicians obviously have started leveraging the telehealth services, the ability to obviously connect digitally to any patient anywhere on any device. To more uh, quickly triage patients remotely and avoid overloading emergency rooms. These technologies also leverage the limited time of physicians and uh, nursing staff assigned to the ICUs by monitoring possibly patients remotely from a mobile device as caregivers move from, uh, let's say, one room to one room. Now, moreover, if we really talk about telehealth, telehealth is being used for collaboration. Uh, for example, by enlisting remote specialists to review MRIs, ultrasounds, X-rays, as demand for critical care diverts those generalists and emergency medical resources to those most urgent cases. That's the second aspect. Uh, let's look at the third aspect. Uh, providing reliable connectivity to the edge. That's very, very important. As non-conventional health facilities are established. Now, for example, it could be a military facility, it could be a, a you know, stadium, a hotel. The ability to enable the secure remote access to those edge devices of the network also becomes very, very imperative. And uh, fourth, connect the non-essential staff to healthcare workplaces. What does it really mean? So for example, from billing and the HR uh, personnel to application developers, the remote workers will remain an essential uh, to functioning those healthcare operations, right? All the not required or possibly or even permitted at this current situation to be on the hospital premises, these team or they keep healthcare organizations running in many other important ways while providing support for families in a crisis. Now, a robust network capable of supporting a widely distributed workforce is really essential and another necessity for these uh, you know, essential professionals. The last but not the least, uh, leverage IOMT and intrinsic security in patient care. Now, hospitals that have already begun the hard work of possibly integrating a lot of those IOMT sensors and devices into clinical workflows will know where and how many resources uh, are there, right? That they have all the time. This can accelerate their efforts and effectively without straining their complete uh, health networks. And by depending on intrinsic security, Hospitals can protect those patient privacy and those, pre, uh, you know, pre even prevent breaches of uh, sensitive health information. So the question comes now is when we are talking about driving a digital patient first strategy in healthcare, who owns this new digital first patient experience? The obvious answer is it's everyone from clinicians to healthcare IT leaders to even providers. However, because patient experience is now expressed first and foremost through uh, software or technology, healthcare IT leadership uh, sits at the center of patient experience and hence they play a very, very critical role. As a champion of change, driving technology for the force of good, healthcare IT leadership will now need a digital, a patient-first strategy. In addition, healthcare IT leaders need to plan to deliver new patient experience initiatives to meet uh, patient expectations and deliver innovation to provide the best care. As a result, healthcare IT leaders will increasingly have a lot of time and effort being spent on identifying the patient outcomes and reduce the cost along the way. So as patients now start trending towards becoming, as I say, uh, more customers, experience matters more than ever. Now, senior healthcare executives obviously know this. Now they recognize that when as a hospital, uh, they look at even 
the revenue of that particular hospital, they are tightly coupled to patient experience. Now, but in what may be a new revelation, they also now realize that patient experience is significantly driven by the quality of possibly the software application they use. A full 92% of healthcare executives uh, went through a survey more than in any other industry, actually based on that survey, believe in this alignment of apps and overall customer experience. So today, healthcare IT leaders face challenges around both application modernization efforts and application environment or the infrastructure challenges. Both are equally important and both are considered when you undertake a patient experience initiative. We did a lot of studies around these areas. So based on various studies, the biggest application improvement challenge where with possibly validation, resistance, uh, compliance requirement, and organizational silos. Now, unfortunately, uh, the IT leadership is being now forced to spend too much of time and too many resources maintaining those existing legacy infrastructure. This gives less time to really focus on improving the application portfolios. Now, moreover, as organizations adopt cloud, and that's the new way to go for, and in many cases, possibly they're even looking at multiple clouds, application environments are becoming more disparate and complex. So as a healthcare IT leader, what essentially is needed to have a strong digital foundation for this kind of infrastructure. A digital foundation which will help you to integrate the disruptive technologies with existing technologies, processes, and people while ensuring flexibility as healthcare shifts and healthcare strategies change. A digital foundation will let you adopt new healthcare IT effectively by providing a consistent infrastructure, consistent operation and intrinsic security. So what are we doing as VMware? So, you know, as VMware, what we are helping organizations is when you need to build the best digital foundation to build, run, manage, protect, connect and deliver all your applications on cloud, essentially what we are really talking about, bringing in the modern application story. Patients and clinicians, internal and external, need ubiquitous access for greater flexibility and better performance, faster time to market ability to add new technologies so that the provider can remain agile to changing uh, demand. And IT needs to consolidate, standardize, and automate the application environments across platforms and hospitals for efficiency, consistency, and scale. So it is important that we build this platform to support everything in your healthcare environment. So whether to develop cloud-native applications and maintain existing applications side by side, or having a great strategy to move to the next generation application on the same healthcare grade platform. But let's zero in on modern applications for a minute. When looking to the modernized healthcare IT to accelerate care and remain agile, you want to create the best application development platform without disrupting your existing environment and realize that the patient experience vision, which we were talking about, should also include a lot of other stuff. What does it really uh, mean by that? So uh, possibly an agile app development platform, uh, access, which is accelerated uh, developer productivity with self-service access to containers, development and uh, environments, and a catalog of services. Uh, and then start developing. So support the languages used by your developers of today and obviously tomorrow, especially the frameworks of uh, modern apps that support modern uh, usage of microservices or serverless architectures. And they'll build 
or provide a consistent or secure way to build and test code so that you can continuously deploy to a production environment that handles the scaling, availability, and observability. And then finally, modernize that infrastructure to make sure that the existing application that run your hospitals aren't just left behind. Invest in creating a modern application platform that runs all of your applications and leverage the skill set and the knowledge which you already have to deliver, manage, and secure these containerized applications. And this brings to a point where we have seen that when we do this, there are definitely high impact outcomes which gets expected. And this is based on a lot of studies done by us along with a lot of research agencies. What we have seen is by doing this, when we focus developers to really uh, code instead of the infrastructure, 37% increase in developer productivity has can be seen. When I do this, I shorten the path to production. So 82% increase in software in production. And not only that, I improve the security posture also. So 92% less time to patch those operating system environments. Now, how do we do it? We have a large community and ecosystem of partners to help you in this journey. We have over 1100 technology partners to help complete your industry specific solutions. We have more than 20,000 resellers across the country, experts in designing data center, private cloud, public cloud, and the edge cloud architecture to suit your business needs. And over 4,000 odd service providers who can really help for the multi-cloud and hosted solution needs. That's the new VMware today. So why VMware should be your next new digital patient first initiative? Why do you consider VMware? First and foremost, VMware provides you the best digital environment to build, run, manage any application on any cloud. With that, let me also call out that VMware is also recognized a world leader in the healthcare solution space. We have been named a class category leader, again in EMM and MDM, uh, VMware healthcare solutions stand out. Our solutions are deployed in more than 85% of the world's leading healthcare organizations. And we work with leading foundations and associations advancing technology excellence in healthcare. That's all for me today. Thank you for your time. Be well. Thank you so much. I hope you have gained some insights from the session. I would like to bring to your notice the exhibition booths at the expo area are definitely worth a visit. So make sure you check out various booths to know more on such topics. Stay with us for the next session.